Hey guys, I'm kind of rushing this video out. Uh, I want to first say that the information in here, I do not have links for it yet. Uh, the reliable source that I'm relying on here is Tim with Military Arms Channel. Tim uh, tends to have a pretty good inside track with ATF type uh, stuff. He's got some good inside people that uh, feed him some good information and reliable information. So I feel comfortable passing this information on to you guys. The only reason why I'm not waiting on sources is because it is such an important issue that I want to make sure that everybody out there is looking for it as it comes out. The Department of Justice, along with the ATF, and forgive me if I'm referring to my notes because I haven't had time to prepare this, the DOJ, uh, in conjunction with the ATF, are preparing to put a letter out. The letter is already uh, pinned and, and ready to roll. Tim actually, in his video, claimed that he's, he's laid eyes on it, So, and I believe that. Um, the letter is ready to roll and it will be out within the next 48 hours. It is essentially going to deem um, AR pistols with SB Tactical or any other type of stabilizing brace on it as an illegal SBR. Um, let's see, they're going to put this letter on the Federal Registry and of course you're going to be able to comment on it. The Administrative Procedures Act, if you guys don't know Administrative Procedures Act, anytime you've been able to comment on anything like the bump stocks, and like anything else that the ATF puts out there, it's not because they're doing us a favor, it's because there's an actual law, an act in place that makes them put that out there and submit this for uh, comments from the general public. Um, they have a minimum of 30 days that that has to sit out there in order for them to accept those comments. Now we know the comments don't matter to them because they disregard them and do whatever they want anyway. Never have I seen that comments have deterred them from doing whatever anti-constitutional thing that they wanted to do. Um, nevertheless, uh, we are going to have a 30-day window of opportunity coming up very soon. I'm assuming once that letter is published stating that your SBR on your AR pistol is illegal, I'm assuming that's when that will trigger that 30-day minimum window. Um, Tim says at the end of the letter, it says that it does not carry the uh, force of law. In other words, the letter does not. In other words, there is no pending law right now. There is no, there is an impending law, but there's no law out there at this moment that this letter is going to trigger. Again, that 30-day window uh, for the Administrative Procedures Act has to pass first, and then they have to do that. Um, let's see, what else? Essentially, it's saying brace firearms in certain configurations uh, will be considered illegal SBRs. Uh, based on certain configurations, what they're saying is it sounds like the length of pull, although not defined or printed or published anywhere, all these things like length of pull, uh, like your eye relief on there. We talked about optics. We talked about uh, in some of our previous videos that if the eye relief was close enough, meaning you were shouldering it, that that particular optic, the kind of optic you could have on there could in fact make that SP, that excuse me, that AR pistol be an SBR. In other words, if it were longer eye relief that you were using this as a pistol, if it's shorter eye relief that you'd intended to shoulder it, therefore you made yourself have an SBR. Stupid, I know. Uh, let's see, basically accessories are what's gonna determine that. From what we understand, again, the ATF is notorious for not printing or publishing any of these rules, they tell you that there are rules and we will let you know when you break those rules. They don't actually publish these rules. So I think that's more of the same of what we can expect from them. Um, you will have some options, however. Um, let me get to your options real quick. It, it, it appears that your options are going to be if and when the, these AR pistols are deemed SBRs, you are going to have the option to register your SBR. Now, the... ATF in their gracious, I guess, Christmas spirit has decided that if you in fact register your new SBR, that they're going to waive that $200 tax stamp right now. If your SBR, uh, your new SBR, your AR pistol with the uh, SB tactical or, uh, or stabilizing brace on it, that it will, if it's, if it exists in the current configuration, like you have it now, they would deem it an SBR. They will let you register it with the NFA, not charge you the $200 tax stamp because they're being nice guys. So you either have the option to register. Now keep in mind, this register, registering is only gonna be right now whenever you register it. Future, you're not gonna have that option. There, I assume there's gonna be a deadline that says you have to register it by this date and anything after that is going to be considered an SBR and then you will in fact have to pay your $200 tax stamp. So again, register your new SBR, remove the brace, surrender the gun, uh, change the barrel length, or destroy the firearm. Those seem like, based on Tim's feedback, 
are going to be your options if you currently have an AR pistol with a stabilizing brace on it. Not cool, guys. This is some messed up stuff. Um, uh, some other stuff that Tim mentioned that I'm a little bit bothered by, and, and I don't question anything that Tim says. I just, sometimes you have to read things for yourself because you're like, I, I'm, I'm not believing this, especially when you don't, you can't read it with your own eyes on the letterhead of the DOJ. But Tim's statement says that if you submit comments on this, remember, we the Administrative Procedures Act, on the public registry, if you were submitting comments, that you're going to be required, of course, to, to submit your name, address, probably phone number, personal information, that all that information, they have already stated that all that information is going to be made public on that re federal registry, and anybody can see that. So essentially, if you comment, they're going to, in my opinion, assume that you have that AR pistol that you do not want to register as an SBR. So now they've got all your personal information. And look, whether or not you have one or not, that's besides the point. They are essentially threatening you, saying that, well, if you want to comment, this is what we're going to do. We're going to publish all this private information. So they're trying to deter you from, from commenting, which again, I don't know why they're trying to deter anyone because it never made a difference anyway. But that's essentially what they're trying to do, guys. I'm sorry, this video is longer than what I expected to make. I mainly want to put the bug in your ear to be on the lookout. It's coming the next day or so, according to Tim, again. And I consider Tim a very reliable source, so I feel comfortable passing this information on. Again, please go look at his Instagram, uh, Military Arms Channel, Mac. Go look at his, uh, his, his IG account, and you're going to see he's got a video and he's got some text on there. I've actually forwarded his text. And I'll tell you what, I'll forward his... Um, his video also. I'll post that on my Instagram as well. I believe it's showing up on my Facebook too. So you can go to my Facebook, my Instagram, or Tim's Facebook, Tim's Instagram, and see his uh, communication that he put out. I want to say a big thank you to Tim for doing that. Again, Tim, I consider Tim the tip of the spear sometime when it comes to this type of stuff. And, um, you know, I really look up to him for some of the stuff that he puts out there. I know he puts himself out there uh, a lot, and some people, you know, have issues with the way he, he uh, I guess, portrays himself and puts himself out there. But I can tell you that from what I've seen, it's all genuine. And I do appreciate him doing this. I think it's important that we have a heads up on this. When we see it, we jump on it. I will say one last thing. Anyone out there that wants to sit back and say, like you've been saying on these videos, on mine and other videos, bump stock videos, um, polymer 80 videos, stabilizing brace videos that we don't need them. You're skirting the law. You're making gun owners look bad. You guys are slaves. You are not second amendment supporters. If you feel like I'm fear mongering, Tim's fear mongering, all these other great guys out there that are putting out good information, try to warn everyone and try to protect our second amendment rights. If you feel like, ah, I don't need a bump stop. I don't care if they ban them. Why are you trying to get uh, a, a, a stabilizing brace on your AR pistol? Why don't you get your tax stamp? Oh, polymer 80s, why are you making it easy for the criminals? If you feel like that, you are an absolute slave. You are a slave. You are not on our side. We don't want you as a proponent of the Second Amendment because you don't belong here. Get on the side you belong on, get on the anti-gun side, and at least deal with it and be honest with yourself about it because you are an absolute slave.